Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Romy and today's video is about how I achieved clear skin. I'm really happy with how my skin is now. I still get a few pimples here and there, but overall my skin is pretty clear most of the time. So I still have a little bit of hyperpigmentation from previous acne and pimples. Uh, this one is a pimple that is still healing from last week. All of these tiny scars are still from when I had an acne breakout. So I still have a bit of hyperpigmentation, but I'm working on um, to fade that and I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm fading my acne scars later in the video. So make sure to stay tuned. But just to give you guys a little history of my skin. Fait que j'ai toujours eu une peau comme plutôt bonne. Pendant la puberté, j'avais rarement des boutons. Puis après, vers 16 ans, je commençais à prendre la pilule. Ma peau, genre, elle était plutôt bien à ce moment-là. Vers 18 ans, c'est là que j'ai arrêté la pilule, j'ai déménagé, je suis arrivée à Montréal, donc j'ai commencé l'université. Fait que j'avais plus de stress et en plus j'avais arrêté la pilule. Et je pense que ça, ça commençait à trigger de l'acné euh, sur ma face. Donc j'ai commencé à avoir des boutons sur le front, ce que j'avais jamais eu avant, c'était assez bizarre. Genre... Ma peau elle est, elle est vraiment bien sur mon front, genre j'ai très rarement des boutons maintenant mais, mais ouais à cette période, genre I just kept having buns on my forehead and they just wouldn't go away no matter what I did Et puis ensuite, l'année dernière c'est là que j'ai eu vraiment un acne breakout que j'avais jamais eu avant C'est que j'ai commencé à avoir de, du cystic acne, donc de l'acné très profonde qui fait vraiment mal Et c'était principalement sur la partie gauche de mon visage donc cette période ça m'a vraiment complexée, bon, j'étais vraiment obsessed, je passais mon temps à la maison à faire de la recherche, à essayer des méthodes naturelles pour guérir ma peau. In this video I'm gonna share with you guys um, all the tips that I've been using to heal my acne and to keep my skin clear. I just want to point out, I am not a professional, I'm not an expert in anything. This video is just to share my experience with you guys and I'm not imposing anything on you. I'm not telling you, oh you must change your lifestyle, you must change your diet, you must buy this product. Not at all. This is just me sharing my experience and hopefully it might help you guys and inspire you guys to try some new technique. But yeah, I really hope this video helped and yeah, keep on watching. The more you know who you are and what you First of all, skincare. So my basic skincare regimen is face wash, toner, tea tree oil on my acne scars and pimples, and jojoba oil. This toner in particular has really really made a difference on my skin, I feel. It smells so freaking good and it basically just removes anything that is still dirty on your face anytime you do like for example a workout you can just clean your face with that toner tea tree oil is really helpful for pimples and acne just always dilute it with water because if it's too strong it can just burn your skin when your pimple turns into a whitehead do not pop it i know it's tempting and i do it way too many times but I would recommend using the Marie Badescu drying lotion or something similar to that. It basically dries out your pimple overnight and it really really works. Something that I recommend doing once a week is scrub, steam and put a mask on your face. When you scrub your face gently, it just removes all the dead cells. Then you can steam your face so you put hot water in a bowl, you put your face over it with a towel and it'll just open all of your pores and then you put a clay mask on your face. I like using coffee straps so you take the leftover coffee and you just rub it gently on your face with a bit of water. I don't actually drink enough coffee to buy it so I just get leftover coffee from the coffee shop in front of my place. Most coffee shops just throw all of that away so I'm sure if you bring a little container they're gonna give you some. And the clay mask that I'm using is the Indian Healing Clay. It works super super well. Another cool mask that I like to do is using fresh aloe vera. When I buy it, I try to use it every day. You basically just cut it and then you rub the, um, the part of the leaf on your face, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe longer if you want to. It really doesn't hurt your face at all, so you can leave it for as long as you want. It soothes your skin, it calms acne a little bit. For acne scars and hyperpigmentation, I recommend using a vitamin C serum. Basically what it does is that it helps your skin heal and it brightens it a little bit. I've really noticed the difference ever since I've been using it. Like my scars have been fading a lot quicker. Now I haven't been using the vitamin C serum in like a few months because I've run out of it and I've noticed that my scars don't really heal but just having the vitamin C serum makes the process go faster. And another thing about scars that you can use which is a bit more painful and a bit more pricey but damn it works so fucking well. It's using a derma roller. It's basically a tool that has needles in it. Okay I can't explain it very well so I'm just gonna read off my phone. It helps rejuvenate the skin, treat acne scars and reduce signs of aging by puncturing the skin with its fine needles creating a controlled skin injury. 
This triggers the body's wound healing response and the skin starts to produce more collagen to heal the skin. There's different needle sizes. Okay. Yeah, this is the thing that works the best out of all the fading methods that I've tried. Like I've tried putting potato on my face because the potato juice is supposed to fade out scars and yeah, the derma rotter is the thing that worked the best. Uh, there's a lot of different derma rotter out there, different brands. Honestly, you want to be sure that you have a really high quality one because if you take one that is of bad quality, it might really damage your skin. I really recommend being careful with that and the brand that I've been using is by Jen Amber. She has a YouTube channel where she explains what the derma rotter is, how to use it, so I highly recommend checking out her YouTube channel and to buy her product if you're interested. The only issue that I have with this product is that it's a bit pricey and you have to keep buying it. Like you can only use it about 10, 11 times. After that, you have to throw it away and it's not recyclable. And then you have to buy a new one. Okay, now on to the most important part. It's your diet. What you eat directly impacts your skin. When I had acne, I actually uh, did a hormonal test and I discovered that I had really high testosterone at this period. High testosterone is actually linked to acne and I don't know why how it happened but yeah I just had high testosterone which I think is the reason why I had acne and so what you eat can really either balance or unbalance your hormones it's really directly linked so that's why you should be very careful what you put into your body when you have acne it's uh, recommended to eat non-inflammatory food because acne is basically an, an inflammation so if you eat inflammatory food it might trigger it and make it worse I recommend eating food that heal your gut so food like turmeric lemon garlic ginger and green tea are things that I've been including in my diet every day and I really noticed that this made a difference for me. So here's a list of anti-inflammatory food and they're very good for you. I recommend including them in your daily diet. I would avoid eating too much gluten like beer, couscous, bread, pasta and focus on brown and wild rice, quinoa, gluten-free pasta, potato, oat, corn. I would also avoid eating dairy. A quick Google search will show you countless articles and research about dairy and acne. Dairy wasn't a problem for me because I don't eat dairy but if you do have that in your diet maybe try reducing it or cutting it out completely and I really think you will see the difference. Many studies have actually found that there's a strong link between the consumption of milk and facial acne so that's why I really recommend switching to a whole foods plant-based diet. I would avoid processed food in general and meats as well and also sugar that doesn't come from fruits. Okay next up we have zinc. Zinc is so helpful and once again it's also one of the things that I think made a big difference in my acne. So basically zinc is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antioxidant, among other benefits. So you can either consume zinc in the food. You've got pumpkin seeds, lentils, tofu, almonds, chickpeas, mushroom. That's all I got, but there's definitely others. Or you can do like me and use uh, supplements. I highly recommend this brand. It's vegan, but it's cruelty free. Okay, next up we have B12. Hey guys, as I'm editing, I realized I forgot to explain what B12 is. Some of you guys might not know exactly what it does so basically b12 is a nutrient that's crucial to your body it helps red blood cells work so that they can bring oxygen throughout your whole body it's usually found in meat and dairy so as a vegan or vegetarian you don't have access to that usually unless you eat reinforced food like nutritional yeast or take b12 supplements but yeah there's a link with acne keep on watching some studies have found that consuming a lot of b12 can increase acne i'm just gonna read this because B12 changes the gene expression of the skin bacteria, which would lead to acne promoting inflammation. So, yeah. Eat B12, not too much. I try to avoid smoking and drinking too much during my acne periods. There's nothing really beneficial about it for your body or your skin. I'm not saying that this is the cause of your acne, but just reduce your consumption of it if you do smoke or drink a lot. And my other tip is that maybe some of the food that you eat daily has an impact on your skin and is causing you acne. There's food that maybe you're just not tolerating well, even though it's something that is said to be good for your skin. What I've done is I try to identify the food that could potentially cause my acne and I would try cutting it out for a few days or a week, see if there's any changes and then I would bring it back into my diet and at the same time remove another food from my diet and see. So I basically looked up potential acne triggers and there was like peanut butter, I eat a lot of soy so I try to cut that and bananas because they're high in sugar so it didn't really make a difference for me but you can try to do something like that and try to find an ingredient that might cause your acne. Okay so this last section is basically about keeping your environment clean for your face 
For example, don't touch your face with dirty hands. Always, always wash your hands when you're about to touch your face. So in the morning, in the evening, or before a workout. During the day, try to avoid touching it or like resting like that on your hand. Don't pick your acne, especially with dirty hands. Only pick your acne when you're putting something on it or washing your face. Other than that, this zone, don't touch it. You can also change your pillowcases at least once a week, especially if you're the kind of person that rubs their face on their pillow. And pillows, they're just full of bacteria, especially if you don't wash them enough. But also, avoid touching your face with the pillow. This may sound weird, but I just found this method of sleeping on my pillow without it touching my cheeks. So basically, when I sleep, my pillow rests on this part of my face. Here is my pillow. I sleep like that. Whoa, fuck. I put my hand, like, Okay, this is not working very well for me. So, the, my cheek, which is where I usually get acne, doesn't touch the pillow. And, I don't know, you guys can try it. Also, keep your phone away from your face. Always have a clean face before working out. And this is something that I don't always do. And uh, it's definitely triggered acne in the past. The summer is basically similar to a workout, like your face sweats all the time, so I would avoid heavy foundation. If you use makeup brushes, try not to share them with others and try to keep them clean. Wash them regularly. And if you have bangs, keep them clean or away from your face. So basically, keep everything that touches your face clean. And in general, try to keep things from touching your face. Whew. Talking or not, huh? So overall, my three biggest tips are to eat a well-balanced, whole foods, plant-based diet as often as you can, prioritizing zinc, non-inflammatory food, having a simple, natural skincare routine can really help as well, sometimes less is more, and lastly, don't touch your face with dirty hands, keep your face clean, and try to just avoid stuff from touching your face in general. Honestly, I don't know exactly what helped me clear my acne. Maybe it's only one thing I mentioned, maybe it's a combination of all of them, but overall, my diet is definitely the thing that really helped me the most. Just having a healthier lifestyle in general, I really suggest you give it a try. If you feel like you're really far from this kind of lifestyle, just be patient, take your time, you don't have to do all of it all at once. This may feel like a lot of information, but you get used to it really fast and it just becomes part of your routine of your lifestyle and you don't even think about it anymore. If if you have acne that's way more severe than mine i wish you good luck i can't imagine how hard it must be like i've experienced it a little but my acne was never really really bad so i really hope that maybe some of those tips might be helpful to you thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to let me know and don't give up be patient be kind to yourself take care of your skin take care of your body in general if you want to see my exact skincare routine or what i eat in a day you can click on these two videos right here and if you want to see more lifestyle or body modification videos you can subscribe to my channel channel don't forget to hit the bell this way you know anytime i post a video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye